Hello civil engineers, welcome to the Reinforced Detail Platform. Myself Nishant Goswami, Director Reinforced Group. And for you all, corporate trainers. In this session, we will see about the tender basics and the contract basics. So what do you mean by the tender? What do you mean by the contract? And what is the importance of tendering for the contractor side also and for the client side also? And what is the importance for the contract for the client side also and for the contractor side also? Before proceedings, I would like to request to everyone, please like the video, share and subscribe our channel. And uh, don't forget to press bell icon because on the daily basis, we will upload our videos related to this tender series. You will get time to time with all the notifications. So nevertheless, we can start the sessions. So first, let's start with the tender basic. What do you mean by the tender? So tender is a kind of invitations or you can say it's a proposal from client to the various eligible contractors. Eligible contractors, those who are capable for the participating in the bidding. So what do you mean by the tender? So let's start with the one example. Let's take a two person. One person is a technical person and another person is a non-technical person. The both persons want to uh, construct, uh, want to get construct a shopping mall on their plot. So a technical persons and non-technical persons, I am taking example, the non-technical persons is going to hire the contractor directly without any procedure, without any selection systems, any procedure just he went and he select the contractor without any specifications and all and at the other hand the technical sounded persons first he will release a proposal he will release a tender notifications through the online portal or through the newspaper in their proposal in his proposal he will notify regarding the budgeting cost regarding the quality regarding the all the specifications those he want to get construct in that shopping mall so there is a two Example I took first is non technical and second is technical person. But if you know, uh, you know, if you will uh, go with the first example, the client in the first example, those who are not technical sounded, he has to just compromise with the quality because whatever the compromise, whatever the materials uh, the contractor is going to construct, he has to compromise in that case because he didn't have any option. But in the second hand, in, in the other hand, you will see the technical person, those who gone through the tender procedure, he have all the choice to select the various, uh, to select the final contractor among the various contractor. So he will, later he will select the final contractor among the all the various contractors. He have all the options, he have all the rights. He have the options, he have the quality, he have the all the things, those he want to be deserved. So in that case, the quality will be good the project executions will be good as compared to the first example. So why it is happening? The answer you already got because of the system, because of the tender procedure. So that's why tender procedure is very important for the client also and for the contractor also. Now, why it is important for the contractor? Because if contractor, if contractor is not going to do, uh, not going to participate through the tender, if he will get the project directly, then might be there will be a payment issue from the client side because he has not gone through the procedure he has not gone through the agreement and terms and conditions he done a verbally agreement he got the project directly so in that scenario what will happen the contractor will face lots of problem like in the payment schedule in the payment might be from the client client is delaying the payment for giving for releasing the payment whatever the things invested by the contractor is not getting in the appropriate time the payment so this can be happen so that's why tender procedure is legal tender procedure is important for the client also and for the contractor also now who can release the tender definitely in india there are 28 states and eight union territories so all the state government posing the pwd office so all the state government posing the pwd office so all the pwd office governs e procurement website so nowadays the tender will be released through the online portal that is known as e-bidding also e-tendering also so if the tender will be get released through the online portal that portal is said to be e-procurement portal so nowadays every state government posing this e-portal website 
so the client who is government so government can release the tender through the e procurement that is e portal at the same time can can private persons can private client are eligible to release the tender yeah they are also eligible to release the tender through the all the norms and conditions through all the standard specifications but that tender is said to be private tender and the government tender means the tender which can be released which are releasing by the government that tender is said to be government tender and the tender which is released by the private tender the proposal which is released by the private client that said to be private tender so this is uh, all about the tender why it is important in one sentence you can say tender is a type of proposal from invite or invitations from client to the various contractor for selecting the final contractor to execute the proposed project so that means tender there are lots of tender there are different types of tenders depending upon the project value depending upon the locations depending upon there are various type of uh, tenders that we will see in our upcoming days in a very video means we will make a video uh, of the related to the tendering system tendering management in a very sequence wise that you will get all the videos in very sequence wise from today onwards in a very <coughs> systematic manner now let's talk about the contract what does it my, mean by the contract why it is important for the contractor and the, for the client so see contract is the agreement once the tender procedure once the bidding procedure will get over the tender evaluation will be start after the tender evaluation the final selection of contractor will be get done so once the final selection of the contractor will get over now client has to do the some agreement with that final contractor before hand over hand over the project client has to do the agreement with that particular final contractor as for example if you are going to uh, take a house on the rent the owner will make an agreement and you have to do the sign on that agreement with a mutual understanding the first part is the owner so owner has to do the uh, make the agreement and you has to do the agreement and you have to sign the agreement so with a mutual benefits with a mutual understanding you will proceed further so why agreement is important for the first party and the for the second party to govern all the to follow the all the norms like for example uh, contract is agreement so client will do agreement at what conditions at what points you can say what what clauses will be there so there are lots of clauses but you know there are four common clauses which will be fall in every type of contract either in the lump sum contract either in a fixed rate contract either in the material based contract either means every there are various type of contract also but in all various type of contract there will be four clause which will be always common that four clause is time cost that is rate that is bill payment and third one is quality and fourth one is penalty or you can say liquidity damages charges so time let's talk about the time so what the uh, related to the time what the things client will do with the contractor and the agreement related to the timeline say so all the schedule of works accordingly to the client timeline base client will uh, frame the time structure that is work schedule structure and that particular final contractor has to agree with that timeline so that is related to the timeline agreement now second talks about the let's talk about the cost rate or bill payment so what is cost uh, related uh, agreement here so the agreement related to the cost means what the uh, final select, selected contractor those uh, he uh, at the time of bidding whatever the quote rate by the contractor he has to do the agree that i will prepare the bill accordingly to the my bidding quotations only so that is related to the financial agreement and the client will also mention the schedule of the payment how i will make the payment at what basis means for example up to the lintel level if you will do the work we will give the certain percentage like 10 percent percentage of your contract value i will release if you will execute up to the lintel level up to the uh, silt level or up to the slab level if you will do i will release 20 percent of the contract value so for example i do so these are the payment schedule these all things will be get mentioned in the agreement in every types of contract now let's talk about the quality so quality is a very 
important credential from the client for the contractor. So why quality is, quality is important? If you, are, uh, if you will compromise with the quality, there will be affected, your project will be get affected. So client will never compromise with the quality. So all the quality plan uh, at, at what day you have to perform which test and what will be the uh, uh, instructions will be there, what are the procedure you have to follow for performing the test, what will the result so you have to prepare all the quality plan you have to perform all the quality control if there will be required and you have to uh, give the quality assurance certificate also after the completion of your particular works so there will be uh, agreement related to the quality assurance and quality control also means related to the material testing related to the work whatever you are performing you that should be in a good quality so there will be agreement related to the quality also now let's talk about the penalty if you will fail the above mentioned uh, which i mentioned the points if you will fail so there will be different penalty that is liquidity damage charge if you will delay the work there will be different delay uh, penalties will be there so accordingly to that so see uh, contract is what contract in uh, i am i like to conclude here contract is a type of agreement from client to the contractor so that has to be and that contractor will be final contractor all the things will be mutual understanding all the things will be get agreed and signed with the mutual understanding so why it is important for the contractor to get undergo through the contract because the payment schedule so if we will go informally there will be uh, might be delay from the client side also so to avoid that delay you, if you will go through the legal agreement so for the contractor also, uh, contractor will be also at the safe zone and client will be definitely at the safe zone only. Okay, so uh, this is the tendering and contract. In the next video, we will uh, try to make uh, related to the types of tender. There are various types of tender. At last, I would like to request you all, please like and share and subscribe our YouTube channel. And don't forget to press bell icon. So press bell icon as uh, we will upload the videos you will get all the information over there and the notifications so you can go through the videos don't forget to press bell icon thanks for your all patience thank you so much